The Millers River Fishermen's Association is a nonprofit organization dedicated to the protection and preservation of the Millers River and its tributaries. Our goal is to make the Millers River the number one fishing stream of Massachusetts. The MRFA became a reality in 2004 and we have had two years of successful stocking. This has been made possible strictly through donations from individuals and area businesses. This past year we had a tag trout program at various locations along the river. We held a fly fishing demonstration last year at the Orange Gun Club for a local Boy Scout troop and have contributed trout for the Orange Gun Club and North Pauvin Anglers fishing derbies. We have recently been involved with the cleaning of the grounds at Clubhouse Pond. This is a beautiful area for swimmers, boaters, and fishermen, and we will strive to keep it that way for all to enjoy. This film is about the MRFA, and we'd like you to see firsthand what we do. So let's go stock some trout. It's a long way to the river over some very rough roads. Alrighty. There they come. There they come. There they are. There they are. The MRFA pitching in to help the Department of Fisheries stock the remote areas of the Bears Den. ATVs are used for the really remote areas that even a four-wheel drive truck cannot get into. The ATVs have an aerated tank in the front and the back and they're run by compressors. Tony Brigani with Pete Mallet checking our stocking permits to make sure everything is in order. All in good shape. Our stocking started just below Birch Hill Dam. We thought it would be a good idea to stock where there were no fishermen. That did not work. We no sooner pulled the truck over when two fellows pulled up and said, Are you guys stocking? Pete said, Yeah. You want to give us a hand? And they gladly did so. This is a rainbow trout, baby. So up and down the river, we pulled over where there were fishermen. And as soon as they would ask, are you stocking? Pete would say, yeah, would you give us a hand? And they jumped at the chance to do it. When they saw the five pound fish they were stocking, well, needless to say, they were very excited and fish with a $20 tag to boot. Stocking by Pete and Henry's restaurant in South Wellston. Stocking at the Community Garden, located on Holtshire Road in West Orange. Stream from Holtshire Road Bridge. The MRFA put some lunkers in this area. Stocking on the Holtshire Road Bridge, Pete and Gail certainly had their hands full with the 17 four to five pound trout they put into Orchid Pole. Wait a minute. I gotta get up here and I wanna drop the camera down. It's gonna go down. All right, go ahead. Stocking the Irving Wildlife Management Area from just above Farley Flats upstream to the bridge. We came across the father fly fishing with his two daughters. They gladly pitched in to help us stock. You can just see by their expressions how much fun they were having. This is hard work on a long day, so it's always nice to have that extra helping hand. The day begins in early morning, picking up the fish in either Bolton Mass 
or from the Mohawk Hatchery and usually ends around 6 p.m. Throw them out. What's your name? Everyone that we asked to help us did so gladly, without hesitation. But every now and then, you come across a turkey, okay. a real turkey. Well, we asked this one guy if he'd help us. He stuck his nose in the air, turned his back to us, and walked away. Well, I said he was a real turkey. Stocking at the bridge in the Irving Wildlife Management Area, where we were joined by Pete's father, Bernie Hornpout Mallet, and another old timer that just thought this was too much fun to pass up. A couple of days later, while fishing this area, he caught two of the $20 tag trout. All that fun, and he got paid to do it. How lucky can you get? Today's Ernie's birthday. Happy birthday, Ernie. Last year, Ernie was doing this on his birthday, too. Well, what else can you do and have this much fun? The treatment plant stocking. Many fishermen of all ages enjoy fishing here and you can bring the family and have a nice picnic at the same time. The MRFA gives the kids a chance to stock here and they have a great time. The MRFA also stocks four to five pound large fish in this area for the kids and the local fishermen. But hey dad, you better keep a hand on a little fellow that catches one of those guys. Yeah. Hold still, hold still, hold still. Just throw him in there, Dad. Okay. You're going to kill that fish. You're all set. I got another one in here, Dad. All right. Oh, he's having a good time. There you go. There you go. Pete keeps a couple of big ones from his spring stocking for the Orange Gun Club and North Province Anglers Fishing Derbies. Here's Gail and Mark, hard at work with the stocking. Of course, all of this is for the kids. Without them, we have no future. And let's face it, they are a lot of fun. Did you have fun catching those? Was that fun catching that fish? Catch that fish yourself? You did, huh? Lindsay Mayhew. Can Lindsay still here? Megan Gracie. Travis Murphy. Travis, is he here, Travis Murphy? Nestled in the wilderness just north of Athol and Orange is one of the most scenic areas that we have and in the middle of all of it is Clubhouse Pond. The MRFA stocks this pond with tag fish two to four pounds. It is an area the MRFA has adopted to care for and this year had a cleanup of the roadway, the boat ramp and the roads leading to the water. You can be a part of this by helping to teach and make kids part of the wilderness, by helping to keep our wilderness clean and our rivers, lakes, and ponds bountiful. Please join the MRFA today.